Windows 10 Screen Recorder. Yeah, they offer that now. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, this is Zach with PC Simplest, and today we're talking about the Windows 10 Screen Recorder. Yeah, now they offer a screen recorder where it actually records the steps that you do and actually takes kind of like some screenshots of what you're doing. And it's actually pretty cool that it does that. I'm actually a little bit excited about that because I do a lot of tutorial stuff and that'll make things very easy when I'm recording what I'm doing. So it takes these screenshots, it says left click, right click, whatever you do. Let's check it out. So in our search bar, all we have to do is type in record and it's going to come up with this link right here called steps recorder and we'll just click on that. So basically it's a pretty simple box that comes up, start record, stop record, add comment. So what we're going to do is just run through a really basic, you know, a couple steps here. We're going to do start record and right now it's recording, but we don't see anything happening really in the background, but we know it's recording. So what we're going to do is just click on this PC and obviously it takes me to my, my PC here and we can basically go, oh, okay, we need to go into the C drive. We need to go into users and we need to go into workstation folder. Once we get there, we can go to app data and local and we'll go to their temp folder and we're making this video about clearing out temp files. So we'll just go ahead. We can skip that. We're going to delete all of our temp files here. So I'm just gonna go through that process and we'll skip that and skip that. A lot of this stuff can't be deleted in attempts and we can just do the skip for all of that. That's fine. So basically those are all the temp files that didn't get deleted and we're all right with that. So that's gonna be our little quick rundown of how the screen recorder works. So we can just hit stop record. And now this comes up, recorded steps and it shows you this is what we did. So step one, is user left double click on this PC and uh, didn't save a screenshot for that. That's all right, but here we go. I dragged my window over, which you saw me do in our video, and now it's taking us through, and let's let's maximize this so it's maybe a little bit better and easier to see. Um, and it you know shows that I dragged it, and more dragging, and obviously we can we can we can uh, make this stuff bigger to show what we did. If you really have this planned out, you can really make this really clean so there's not a lot of steps here. So we can show here uh, user wheel down folders group in this PC, uh, user left double click on space used in edit, and then I double click on uh, the C drive, and then I went on the workstation users and local. I mean, it basically, like I said, it, it takes you all the way through everything that we just did and it's showing you step by step everything that we really ran into. And here is the rundown in a text version. So really, if there's any time that you are having a computer issue with Windows 10, you open up the screen recorder, right? And you go step by step with through this issue that you're having and records everything. So when you're having a problem with it, all you need to do is record this problem and then you can send it off to somebody who may know what you're talking about and they can help you with it. And you know, basically when you click on save, as we did, and we're just gonna name this test, it saves it as a zip file. And we saved it on our desktop. And basically all you need to do from here is email this zip file off to somebody, and they're gonna have access to all the steps that you took and all the screenshots to go along with it so they can better assess any type of computer issue that you have. Of course, if you're just using this to um, basically kind of show some type of presentation or anything like that, you can do that too. So the screen recording tool is actually really, really cool and takes away a lot of the steps that normally you would have to go through before when you wanted to go step by step and make like some type of, type of document of what you did, you know, going through all your steps and you have to type all that stuff out. It really makes it easy for you and it's very, very simple, easy to do, quick and easy to save, easy to send. So if you have any questions about this, as always, hit me up in the comments below. You want to talk about it, let's talk about it. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Thanks again.